I used to wish my childhood was a blank canvas, that it wasn't filled with certain beliefs and expectations from my own community. I'm from Vietnam and I was born and raised in Saigon. I've always liked to paint, draw, and wanted to work in the arts field since I was a child. I don't know, I just felt like it's through art that I'm able to fully express myself and my feelings. So a lot of my artworks related to a certain memory or a state of emotions that I'm going through Wishing at that I time. Take a break from this world. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna be a lost girl. And fly, a breath, feel my wings spread. Navigate above the ground. For this work. There's the fish coming through a woman's body while she's kind of tangled in this long red rope. Has a lot to do with how she's constrained by the ropes, but also managed to detach herself from it and live with it. The fish coming through the body suggests an act of rebellion because I want the painting to evoke a sense of containment and revolt at the same time as it's sort of like an emotional battle between compromising my self-expression and individuality to societal expectations. To capture the painting's full essence, I want to show you guys a memory. And this goes back to where I wish my childhood was a blank canvas. I remembered when I visited one of my primary school friend parents because we sort of live in the same neighborhood. They asked me where did I want to go for college and I told them that I was going to an art one because that's what I wanted to do in the future. I was told that I'm not weird or unconventional enough to be an artist or a designer and that my ability to create is nothing compared to everyone else and that I will never make it and be successful. They told me to be grateful because they are kind enough to actually tell me these things. <laughs> it was hard for me to block those words out of my head because when I was just 15, I didn't really know who I was. I still don't, but <laughs> um, it was really easy to give pieces of myself away to please unimportant people. And after that, for a very long time, I actually thought of becoming a doctor. So I moved to a new school to kind of like start all over again and studied all of these maths and sciences, which I hated. <laughs> And at that time when I was studying all these courses, I always asked myself if I'm growing from this because it just feels like I'm limiting myself and it feels like something was missing in me and in my life and that I haven't found my purpose yet. In the sweet despair, I find something true. And for a long time, I was shedding and rejecting this Asian identity of mine because I felt like I didn't fit in. I know that you made up your mind.
and I have only just reclaimed this Asian identity back by returning to what I've always loved, making art. Ever since I started to do what I love, I've never felt as connected to myself, to my art, to my ethnicity, and to my culture. And I wish that there are more Asian and Vietnamese representation in the art space because we come from such a diverse background and we have so many beautiful stories to tell and people of color's art should be more globally recognized and appreciated. I'm very privileged to have my parents being very supportive of me and I'm very grateful for that. And I just want to say that I'm not getting this message out there to tell anyone to go against your parents. And if becoming a doctor makes you feel more mentally and financially secure in the future, then it's absolutely fine and reasonable. But also make sure to keep your interests and passion alive because they are the things that truly nourishes and feeds your soul. And I'm not trying to spread negative messages about Vietnam or anything. I fucking love my country and I feel like the community there are a lot more progressive compared to the past. But there are still a lot of conservative and narrow-minded individuals living there, which is totally fine. I mean people like that are everywhere and we just gotta learn how to live with them smartly. To all my Asian friends out there, I see you and I can somewhat understand the experiences that you're going through. Getting this message out there knowing that there are people who experience the same thing as me makes me feel hurt. And let's consider this YouTube channel as a space to embrace our own identities and self-expression.